I know it's been a while since I have done a video, but hey, hope everybody's doing good for the holidays. But I found out that uh, I had tried putting a um, fixture in my fish tank and it leached out into the water and the fish died. Every last one, my fish in here died. So, I've taken the water out and I'm taking most of this, these rocks, most of these uh, pebbles here, I'm taking them out because they're too thick. What I've noticed is that a thin layer is good enough because we need the cycle of the water going through the rocks through the waste and filtering it back into the water breaking it up which is best so fish tank emptied out fish died I'll clean it and I'll take my fish from the my other tank after I get this tank together and pretty well quarantined. Stay tuned. Also, uh, out in the garden, I mean, everything else has died off. And yes, this is some of the rocks that I had on there. It's, it's totally too thick. And I have some more over here that I'm going to have to take up also. So, these rocks can actually go into another tank after I actually uh, filter these out, these rocks out. But down here, I found out that I had a lemon growing. So I can't wait to eat them, the lemons. And over here, I have some bamboo growing. And some bell pepper is still with me. It hasn't produced anything, but it hasn't died. Well, back to the fish tank. Yes, out of all this gravel that I've been pulling out, the creators designed the worm. It was still in the water. I mean, without any oxygen in the water, I found a worm. Now that is simply and just amazing. What I'll do is I'll put it down here in the lemon. Get it there, the lemon tree. Let me get it right. see it just sitting there it's just getting used to its life out of the water but pretty soon it'll burrow its way down into the soil which can help give aeration to this lemon well back to the ground Okay, since the filters probably filtered some of that uh, stuff from the terracotta that I put in, I'm going to have to change these filters. There's another uh, filter that I'm probably going to purchase in the near future. It's called uh, Pinky Floss, and it's supposed to be a lot thicker. In, uh, in this stuff, but I need I need something to be able to filter the water properly. Hopefully, these uh, biospheres aren't too bad. What I'll do is I'll fill up the tank and I'll let it run for at least two or three days by itself, and I'll see then test the clarity of the water 
and also the pH and see if the pH is, is, is normal. But as you see, I got some algae on the back wall, which I'll probably move this tank and I'll paint it black on the back. So they have an idea where up is. Isn't that amazing? We got a pretty good thin layer of gravel, which I got at the, the Home Depot or Lowe's or something, the, the pebbles, which didn't cost as much. So, let me get busy. I'll let you see it. But this is too much. I have two bags of gravel, so I had entirely too much and this is a 55 gallon which I probably I'm thinking of moving this over to here but then I have another as you see another one that comes up and it's a canister that I have on the bottom which I'll be upgrading that I think it was X, FX4 I think I'll get an FX4 for this tank And let's check on the worm. As you can see, worm is no longer in that same area. It's in the soil. I don't know what the creator designed it to do. Even though it's amazing how it stayed its life in this water environment, in the gravel. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get rid of this bag and then move the gravel around a little more and spread it more thinner. And then what I'll do, I have the canister that I'm taking the filters out of it just so I won't be refiltering the bad, uh, bad water back into the fish tank. This is the canister that I have to break down. Let me get some paper to put down on the ground around it so I can take these uh, wet items out. Okay, first what I do is I line a plastic bag with old newspaper. So when I take the wet filters out, it can be soaked into that water. Now this here, I will spread it around underneath so I catch any dripping.